What up? I'm Dorian Renaud, the CEO and founder of Butter Skincare, and today I'll be telling Preem Magazine my first and last. Uh, I actually have been having like the same dream over and over since I was a young kid and I've yet to finish it but I remember it vividly because it was a lot of rain I was in my first house that I grew up on on LG Street in Beaumont, Texas and somebody was actually killing somebody across the street but I happened to manage to get me and my family out of there and Jesus was in the closet and he helped us and so I'm going to take that as a good omen, although the dreams are very, very weird. Oddly enough, I have been able to see most of my life in dreams prior to it happening. So sometimes I don't know if it's dreams or deja vu. First thing I do in the morning, I smoke a joint and I take my dog for a walk and I read my Ayan Van Land book until today. Even though if it does not fit that day, usually something in there speaks to me and so you know i like to walk my dog in peace around my neighborhood and just think about the day before i even touch my phone before i even touch a computer last time i flew was last weekend i flew by myself private <laughs> which i'm very scared of but i have to say that in there because it was a moment by myself i went to vegas to go see usher in concert and i got like third row seats all alone and I thoroughly enjoyed that trip alone. I woke up the next morning in Vegas and I came back to Los Angeles and I needed that real moment of feeling like my old self, being carefree. So flew to Vegas, stayed there for about 13 hours and came back to LA and it was the time of my life. Hell yes, I remember my first concert. It was Brian McKnight and Maya. Uh, they came to Beaumont, Texas and not many people would come at that time. So my dad actually allowed me to wait after the concert. Tenor limos came by and Maya and Brian McKnight said hello. So thank you, it was my first concert and a very memorable one at that. Yes, my last concert that I went to was her at the Hollywood Bowl, but I've been having a thing with the Hollywood Bowl. It's my favorite venue, my dream venue. And prior to seeing her, I saw Christina Aguilera and she was incredible. It was such a reminder of how iconic she was. And I felt like that was the stage that she needed to be on. So although I saw her at the Hollywood Bowl, the last noted concert that was amazing for me was Miss Aguilera. Ah, my first real piece of jewelry. My grandmother would take me to the flea market in Texas and it was a Nike ring uh, nugget on my finger. And it was so cool to have real gold on my hands. She made sure it was 18 karat gold and I might've been like six or seven years old and I kept it on my finger for quite some time and now I'm obsessed with jewelry. Last sporting event I watched, I actually had the honor of singing the national anthem at the Los Angeles Sparks game, who we are partnering with this season. It's been incredible, and so I watched these incredible black women, a team full of mainly women that look like myself, play ball hard and really go out there and win and get that victory. So yeah, the LA Sparks was the last sporting event I've been to. The idea of Butter First came to me long time ago. I mean, I always wanted to have a skincare line. I just did not know how exactly I would do it. I would say three seasons after I was on my sitcom, I started thinking about ways to make money outside of just acting or hosting. And I drew up a business plan and at the top of it, it had Butter and it sat for a year before someone even asked me, what is it that you really want to do? And when they asked, I answered and there was Butter. The last product I put out, proudly, my tinted mineral sunscreen. So many of our butter lovers and users have been asking for a sunscreen forever and we give them what they want. It's tinted so it glides into your skin. It looks great, doesn't leave you any white streaks. Another thing I love about it is it has SPF 30 so it protects you from the sun and it also gives you a glow. First butter skincare product, it was my kit. It only consists of a cleanser, a vitamin C serum, and shea butter moisturizer. And now we have over 23 skin. I was finally here. Love it. Hey, Preem Magazine, it's Dory Renai, the founder of Butter Skincare. Thanks for checking out my first and last with Preem Magazine.